ビロジュースビロジュースビロジュースイッツショータイム That's right ビロジュース is back before Michael Keaton was Batman He also played the Joker at one point Also known as Beetlejuice. And now he hath returned after almost 40 years. <laughs> yes, Michael Keaton is in his 70s now, but I have faith that he's going to knock this role out of the park. Still, we have Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. The official teaser trailer right here, the long awaited return of Beetlejuice, is upon us. So we're going to see what this trailer has in store. I heard that Willem Dafoe is going to be a part of the cast, and that makes me really excited because I love Willem Dafoe. He's a phenomenal actor. So let's jump right in here and see what's going on, ladies and gentlemen. Is loose. <laughs> me say day, me say day, me say day. Oh, that is right before my birthday. I will be in the theaters to see that, ladies and gentlemen. Was not expecting him to say. The juice is loose because that sounds like he just had some Taco Bell. I was expecting it's showtime. But I'm actually glad they didn't use that though. I, I am glad they didn't use it because it, use it very sparingly. Do not overdo it. It doesn't need to become redundant. We know it's a famous catchphrase. And I believe they only used it once in the original, anyways. So yeah, do not use it in the trailer. Save it for the movie. We know what we're waiting for him to say. Imagine they don't say it at all. Hmm. That'll be interesting. There's a lot to unpack with this trailer here. We need to go back because this is the school that Lydia went to and rides her bike away from the school in the original. But this. That's the death bridge. That is where the car goes off the bridge. Okay. Now, I'm wondering with Jenna Ortega's role in this, by the way, Love Jenna Ortega. I really enjoy her as an actress. And she nails the role of Wednesday. That's why Tim Burton, I'm guessing after working with her on Wednesday, probably loved her as well and decided it's time for Beetlejuice 2. Come on, it is time. Let's bring Jenna in. She really nails the deadpan humor of Wednesday. And I feel like she is going to knock this role out of the park. I'm. I'm not sure what her position here is. I'm guessing that she's Lydia's daughter in the film, which would make perfect sense. I feel like her and Winona are going to have great interaction and great chemistry on camera. But right here, I am guessing the person in this casket is Mr. Dietz. We will not be seeing him return. I can guarantee that, especially after the actor who plays Mr. Dietz. Uh, his... Disgusting behavior off camera. He's really proven himself to be a scumbag. So he will not be in this film. Nor do I expect to see Adam or, you know, Alec Baldwin returning at all. I, I don't expect to see him. We know what he's been up to lately and he's still on trial. So won't be seeing him either. Lights come and we want to go. Right here. Winona Ryder is back. 
Lydia is back. Come on, come on. And did you see the look on her face at the end when she saw Beetlejuice? Catherine O'Hare. She's back. She is back. Yes. Yes. I am. I, I believe this cast is going to put on one heck of a performance. This is going to be so good. Michael Keaton is back. Catherine O'Hare. Come on. Jenna Ortega's joined the cast. Winona Ryder. Willem Dafoe. What more do you want? Tim Burton is on the project. Now, I'm, I'm interested to see the amount of practical effects that they use in this. Especially compared to the original. Mr. Tallyman, tally me banana. Come and, we want to and we have the banana song. Dale, come on. Yes, bring it back, but it's really slowed down. It has that more ominous feel. You know, it was a little more upbeat in the original. This one is definitely slowed down. A bit of a more dark feel to the song as well. We have the Beetlejuice sign. We all knew what was coming right here. But when he rises up, where's Winona's face? Let's take a look at her face. The juice is loose. Right there. Look at that expression. She's like, oh no, I almost married this guy. Why are you back? Why are you here? Come on. I didn't say your name three times. And here, we can really see the aging on Michael Keaton's face. I'm not worried about that at all. Of course, Beetlejuice is going to age. It's been a minute since we have seen the guy. I think that's only going to add to the character even more. He's going to have some stories to tell, and I'm excited to hear about him. But I am thrilled with the look of this already. And this is only a teaser trailer. This is just a little sprinkle. Tim Burton said, hey, take a look at this. Look what I've been up to. And I am thrilled about that. I'm, I'm interested to know how they're going to fit Willem Dafoe into this project. I, I just love Willem Dafoe. I mean, he, everything he does is great. He's one of the best actors ever. So really intrigued to see how they fit him in. And I also heard that Justin Thoreau was attached to this project. Now, I'm not sure what his character is going to be about. Justin Thoreau, otherwise known as the guy who didn't last in marriage with Jennifer Aniston. You know. So, you know how we are about friends around here. But we'll, we'll see what he does. Eh, I couldn't care less. Anyways, but... <laughs> put, put Jennifer Aniston here, please. <laughs> But I am excited about this. Let me know if you guys are going to end up in the theater seeing this. I know that this is called Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, and we know we have to say his name three times. So could there perhaps be another film after this? We know this is going to be a box office smash. Beetlejuice has such a large cult following that they're going to they're going to set some numbers in the box office for sure. With the practical effects in this, I am excited because there was so much use of practical effects in the original, and I did hear that Tim Burton is going to be using stop motion and everything in, in this one as well. There, the CGI thing is so overdone these days. I hope they don't really overdo it in this. I would love more practical effects in use because that adds to the charm of Beetlejuice and my enjoyment of it. I really just enjoy seeing practical effects. CGI, you know, everybody's doing it these days. Let's get back to the roots here. And Tim Burton is a part of the project, as always. Come on. Tim Burton, Michael Keaton, we know their movies together. We know this is going to be good once again. Come on. Let me know down in the comments if you're excited for this. Let me know how big of a Beetlejuice you fan you are, if you are a Beetlejuice fan. Either way, drop a like on the video if you would like me to keep doing these trailer reactions. And I have other ones up on the channel as well. I will see you guys in the next one. Love, peace, chicken grease. It's showtime.